Combos is back, guys. We were on a little one-week hiatus. Um, I wasn't in for two weeks. It's been a little while, so it's good to see everybody on Facebook again. Everybody uh, cheer for Leo. Give us a like. Uh, the heart <laughs> back in here I'm so that. glad to be back. Wow, guys. that's cool. Oh, nice. That's yeah. Awesome. There's like a little box that comes up. I didn't even know that I Facebook didn't had that. Me either. That's new to me. That's it. You okay. know what's crazy, man, is like Facebook. Sorry to digress, guys, but Facebook actually is like going to be introducing a ton of new features like Zuckerberg was talking today. Um, Facebook's apparently going to introduce a lot of new features coming up. Holy crap. We got Michael Terrence. What's up, man? Oh, my goodness. Good to see you. Izzy. That's wow. Cool. We got we some people now. popping in. Wanna yes. Know who's so watching many. you live videos? Right there? Wait, that's not a comment. Damn you, Facebook. <laughs> Stop tricking us. You've tricked me for the, the last trickery. time. The trickery. Guys, we are here to talk Gotham today, and of course, anything else you guys want to talk about, feel free to bring up anything in the Geekverse, guys. We There's are talking tons of stuff it. going on in the Geekverse. So much. Oh along goodness. with that, Punisher. Oh, I saw the dude trailer. I stopped what I was doing Same. and showed it to like two <laughs> other people. Like literally just oh stopped, burst goodness. into the bathroom like, you need to watch this. <laughs> Dude, as soon as it came out, like, my whole co-workers oh my circled God. around Izzy, the screen. Izzy, how dare you play Destiny without me? Oh, so guys, guys are you guys first. playing on PC? Hi, Izzy. No, we're doing Xbox. Xbox. <laughs> Jeez, I'm on PS4. <laughs> Great. What's up, Izzy? What's up, Michael? Yeah, hey. guys. Man, if you guys have not caught the Punisher trailer yet, Ooh. it is out right now, and it is smoking hot. I mean, guns brazen. Right. Song, that's what killed me for it. Was the song, song choice was, was amazing. perfect. It, it's like, not only is it good for like the scene, and not only that, they use it so well. Oh, like, yes. There's Placement. very few... You know, movies usually get that treatment. TV shows don't get that kind of hyped up, synced up action like that. And it just this doesn't is happen. almost feeling like the hype around this is feeling like a movie, man. Like I'm feeling like this is everybody a MCU. is ready for this, dude. Yeah. Everybody is ready. Not here for long. Jim killed me. Oh no. Oh, we well, understand. Thank you for being yeah. here still, Thanks Susie. for coming in. Sai. Good to see you, hey, man. Hey, thank you. Sai. Oh my goodness. Speaking of which, uh, we do it every episode, but we gotta stop and give a special shout out to all of our Patreon subscribers on Patreon.com, and that includes Susie Marie, Cy Kennedy, Tyler Lockridge. We've also got recent editions, Mikey Neve, and it was Kevin Shrew, correct? Yeah, Kevin So came we've as well. currently got five patrons, everyone helping us out. Thank you so much for donating. Uh, you know, I, I believe most people donate five bucks to ten bucks a month, and it's really been a great help in keeping everything going. We're, we're stockpiling now to get ready to start buying uh, more uh prizes for the show but we've just been making sure that we can get stuff hopefully more than just like all right here's one random comic or something we're trying to theme it out so sub dh hey, hey thanks man yeah hey. made a tv debut this week guys nice. it was crazy wow i mean never thought i'd be on tv but here i am so thanks for checking out the video and thanks for the support man um and thank you guys all for coming in tonight because we are going to talk about some gotham Ariana, good to see you. Welcome in. I never did get my comic, LL. Oh, man. We'll have to Leo. talk about that because I'm pretty <laughs> sure I sent me? you. I, I, don't, I don't have it anymore. <laughs> like, I sent it I off. have the de that Deadpool T. Hey! <laughs> What's up, De Damaris, good to see you. I just got into Gotham, finished it today. Coincidence? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, There's he only, actually, what, three, four seasons? He jumped on Netflix and caught up, man. Yeah, like, crazy. you are dedicated, Cy. DH, I have that Deadpool T. Hey, me too. Hey. I have the exact same one. And hey. I've got the onesie. <laughs> this one's popular. Yeah, I miss. Dude, I want a I Deadpool Spidey T, though. That's what oh. I thought it was at first, and I was super happy. And then I'm like, oh, it's Have nice. you seen one of those? Yes, I have. Where? Uh, Comic-Con, I saw a couple. And then oh. there was a Demarius. Or no, Demarius Smith. Hi. Hey, what's up, Demarius? Wow, long time no see, man. Well, what's here. up? Also, Mikey just joined, so welcome in, Mikey. What up, Mikey? Thank you again. We just gave the Patreon shout-out a second ago. But, yeah, but you know, thank you thank for you your again. patronage. Well, and well, so... Let's get to talking about Gotham if we can. Yeah, let's let's move right into Gotham. You know, we we were left off last time uh, at the end of season three. We kind of like it was kind of a smooth closing. Like, I'll admit this has been the smoothest Gotham season close that I've seen. I like that, but at the same time, I feel like that was a terrible decision Agreed. because it's so smooth that the only thing that got me excited for the new season was Bruce in the cow, mm -hmm. and then it looked like shit. <laughs> he looks like he, oh, I'm not terrible. wearing hockey pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks bad. I mean, I don't know. Have you guys seen the new episode yet? We haven't. I mean, have you seen the newest episode? I haven't seen the newest episode. It premieres tonight, so I have a DVR and guys going to catch it after this. Yeah. But I don't know. You know, I'm not finding myself 
as excited for this newest season. Like, I feel like I'm almost kind of feeling like, okay, wrap it, it up. It, Bruce is his mask. mask. I need to catch right? I've only watched the beginning of season three. I was in the same place, DH. Honestly, the end of season three closes out some of that stuff, but it's, it's the beginning doesn't. Yeah. Uh, we're actually, you're actually at the right, yeah, you're actually at the right one. Season three is just the, you're but he's at, But he's at the beginning of season three. Oh, beginning, okay. I, I never, never rated, rated it, it, but it's so good. Never mind the Batman thing, but it would do so well as a show without the connection. Actually, I don't know, without the Batman connection, I feel like the rest of the story loses its yeah, credibility. It that you, like, uh, the, some of the reasons Batman does, or Gotham does so well is because it takes these characters that have been a main staple of the Batman mythos for decades, decades now. Many of many decades, many of them. N almost none of the characters who show up on that show are less than 40, 50 years old. Yeah, I mean, um, you've got plenty of characters, Jim Gordon, but, Harvey. I mean, these characters are characters we haven't really deeply explored in the comics. E even... Even though characters that are somewhat deeply explored in the comics are not personified as well, we don't they don't delve into what makes them these characters a lot of times, with the exception of maybe the Joker. Uh, and even then, the Joker we get like half of his story, and it's changing all the time. Oh, I hate to digress, but the Joker yeah. movie that's coming up. Oh god, the whole concept. We're, we're is getting terrible. we're getting bombarded. Let's last season. I'll catch up. Watched it. Mask looks weird. New outfit coming soon. <laughs> Okay, I'm out. Got to be up at 4.30 a.m. Have a great night. Oh, wow. Night. Yeah, All you right, have a good Susie, night, too. See you soon. Early, get well rested. Break a leg. Thoroughly established characters. Definitely DH. And I know DH is a heavy reader as well, so he appreciates the, I guess, the depth and complexity. Yeah, and you know, here's how I feel about um, the Gotham verse. I just like that it's exploring the past of some of these characters and building the villains up. Like, we're, we're getting to see the villains past told in a very good story. And we're even and, getting some original characters and, and here's, that fit in the mold very well. Definitely. And here's the thing about it that I like is it never, it didn't start as like a pure villain thing or anything. You start with the Jim Gordon story, mm -hmm. which slowly evolves as you descend into the Gotham underworld into... Uh, Falcone and Penguin and Mad-Eye Mooney, which from there we start to evolve into the landscape that Gotham is eventually to become that mm -hmm. that demands Batman, that demands what Bruce is doing now. It's just Gotham, Gotham is personified, you know, it becomes a character in itself where at this point Gotham is the princess screaming for help. It needs that hero and Jim Gordon is not enough. Right. And we see this in the fact that he's influenced by so many other things like Lee and um, villains and all kinds of things. He's been controlled. He's been brainwashed. Yes. Things also, that he just can't shout keep Shout out up. to our uh, many, many viewers. This yeah, we're straddling thanks, 13, guys. which is a great number. Uh, wow. What's up, Isla? Isla Durant, thank you for showing up. And like I said, anyone who has any questions, please, please share them. Yeah, we got a lot of comments. Let's catch Fine, up right. here. I got to catch up on Let's see. Here, I'll scroll for you. So we got thoroughly established characters right. tonight. I just mean for people who don't know any of that. My mom watched all three seasons. LL is just a crime show to her. LMAO. I had to explain the connection. And, and it is set up to be like a crime show. But without that Batman connection, a lot of people wouldn't watch it. And there wouldn't be as much interest in it. Right. Like it wouldn't be now. as big now as it would to be if Not it were nearly. just a detective show. Because, for instance, it's a good crime show. But if you've ever watched True Detectives, way better crime show. Yeah. Um... So the, a lot of what makes it powerful for some people, maybe not everyone, obviously, as Sai has pointed out, that outside people can come in with the love of the show, oh, having definitely. no established connection to Batman or Gotham, which I would agree. It's a very well-written show, with very powerful characters that, definitely. while they strongly represent these connections, do not rely on them yes. to be interesting. Perfectly said. It's like they're not... They're, they make this show that's good, but they're not heavily, like, holding on to the Batman mythos that they can't tell a good story. I love it. I love the characters are developing. No rehashing yes, the story, says yes. Dave Sloss. Sarah, so fresh. welcome in. Hey, Sarah Cody and Cody. Trammell, thank you so much for coming. I had a hard time staying into season two. Season two was an okay season for me, but... Once you got into the Azrael Az kind of stuff and the end of Court of Owls, they did that very poorly. In my yeah, it, it's it's sloppy. Definitely, the first half is a lot better, and then the second. Yeah, like, eh. and then season three gets better again because you get the whole super villain. Mm -hmm. uh, you get the villain right with Mooney coming stuff. back, and then I tried getting into Gotham, couldn't get past the first couple of episodes. It, it's a lot to swallow in the first few. That's definitely. why I liked Agent Carter. I need to check out more Agent Carter. Ooh, I've seen I've the heard, first three or four episodes. I've heard so good things, good. and I have Hulu, so I really. 
What's up, Auntie Pansy? Season three Thank does you. look pretty sick, though. It's great. Um, they bring back Mooney. I, I feel like season three corrected all the mistakes that the second half of season two yeah. got wrong. Like, like I said, season two had a lot of good stuff, but <sighs> like the saying. ending was kind of lackluster as compared to season one, as compared to season three. It's the Court of Owls, the Owls thing. That was they just not did executed it. well. No, the Court of Owls is, first of all, way much later in the story, kind of. Also, hi, Antonio, Nathan Reed. Thank you for hey, joining Hey, what's us. up, cousin? Good to see you, Nathan. Let's see, some really bad actors, but the good ones make up for it. I despise Lee. That was not very uh, fun. Of yeah, me. I mean, Lee, but more what Lee character. serves as is like kind of that. What Lee is to me is an anchor for Jim. She's kind of like that anchor back into his old life that he should be trying to get past because it's something that's keeping him down. But this is the problem. You have this character that is very human in the sense that he can't be a Batman. He's too human. He's too emotional. He's too connected to these other characters like Penguin and Lee and all these villains. He's too connected to them. What's up, guys? I enjoy what y'all do. Keep it up. Hey, thank, thank you, you so Antonio. much. We appreciate it so much. Thanks, we cousin appreciate Nathan. you coming in. Yeah. You know. Thank you for checking us out, man. I mean, we've been doing this for since last December. Yeah, we're, we're getting continuing, close to a year now. We're continuing to do it every, just about every week. So keep on coming back. Thank yes, you for coming do. out. But yeah, um, I feel like, you know, Jim is just too emotionally established with these characters. Definitely. It, he can't even, get away from them. Even above that, like, think of everything that we even went on with Barbara in season oh, three. God, or is yeah. it season two? Two. Two, I, I think, Yeah, right? when she's running around. Yeah, and it's just like, oh, I'm going to lead you all the way out of the CCPD away from the whole massacre. And it's just like, okay, come on. Yeah, he's influenced way too easily. Tennessee in the house. Yeah, hey. TM. Yeah, he's influenced way too easily, man, and that's... That's the problem with this character. And then I feel like Harvey's well, almost becoming like a sideline character, like especially towards these last couple. And, and I, and I get it. He's, yeah, he's supposed transition. to be that anyway. And, that, and I actually like that. Like I said, the cool part about Gotham was the change. The first season, mostly about Jim. Jim, yep. A lot about Jim. A little bit about Bruce. Second season, more about Bruce, more about Jim, more about Penguin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, a lot about Penguin. A lot about Penguin. Yeah, there was a, a huge of amount of Penguin. Penguin. Riddler, too, honestly. Mm -hmm. Got a huge, yeah. huge boost. And so Isn't that when he spreading. changed? Yes. Yep. yep. Yes, it was. So when he much. kills what's her face's uh, yep. boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah, and he kills his love and everything. I mean, oh, yeah, he then just... he kills her. Yeah, it was so messed up. <sighs> that was a crazy yeah, And then how they caught him, too, was even crazier. I thought that was insane. Uh, but no, that was really good stuff. And But the point was, it didn't just focus on Jim. It spread out the love and developed more characters. And now... In season three, we did it again. We split off. Mm -hmm. We bring back a couple characters. We take out a couple characters. You know, it's magic. And this is looking like... Season four is looking like it's going to be Bruce's season. I have so many fresh thoughts to share. I can't decide what to talk about. Cy, just anything. say, say anything, it man. Shoot me, all of it me out. And, we'll, me we'll and talk about will mostly be able to hear, you know... And we'll try, you know... Granted, season three has been over for how long now? Ooh, a year. Yes, yeah, so that's... Not well, uh, no, about six months... Because they do the whole two, two year, yeah. per season or whatever, or two halves of a season. Now I want to go watch Gotham. You guys execute the story so well. <laughs> well, thanks, Cody. Thank yeah. you so much for saying that. Uh, it's a really good show. I really enjoy it. Not to say that, like, every show it doesn't have problems. Though I've, I've been surprised at how much bashing in humans has been getting. Oh, my God. And humans has been getting so much garbage. Dude, and even and when I even asked someone to, like, this define it, and they're like, lazy plot, this, this, and I'm like, that's still no definition. Like, you didn't point out any of the plot points that were actually lazy. You didn't point out any of the special effects that were shitty. All you said was, I just didn't like it in Here's general. how I feel about Inhumans, man. I watched the first, two, we watched the first two episodes in theaters together with Izzy. Um, and, and I will say this, I really enjoyed the first, like, half an hour. And then... After that, I started feeling like it just kind of started dipping down for me. Like, I was just like, I think I need to see the rest to be able to connect the pieces together because it felt like a lackluster storyline to me after the I mean, first I felt 30 that at, minutes. I felt that at first until the action started happening. I felt like after, I felt like the first couple was a good setting. And oh, then they perfect. had a good push on the second half not to say it was a great push but it was decent now there were things that i didn't like a lot of the execution of some characters were a little off but as far as the drama and stuff it was like okay uh you know they're stranded cool uh and, well and even just the ending and of course they had the pullback ending which pulled back a little mm -hmm. the drama and the pacing but, is a little off a little odd too like can I was we like, spoil dang. the butch thing i need explaining 
Go ahead. It's been out for like so long yeah, now. Yeah, so go ahead and ask whatever it is you want to ask. I think he's asking about when Butch gets revived. Uh, and he's I Solomon mean, Grundy. No one knows is the thing. It's one of those things. Well, they read his name on the at the hospital. They read his like actual name, and it was Solomon Grundy. Yeah, but so, that doesn't mean he's coming back as Solomon. That just is a reference. Just like we've seen references to other characters. Good who point. Never I think back. that might be where they're going, though. Some I mean, it would be. Names pass I, I just by. don't like him for Solomon Grundy, though. I like that, that actor. Yeah. They uh, they'd need to change him. Maybe if they CGI'd him up, and maybe. We'll have to see what they do with Some them. characters and names pass me by. Uh, Let us know which ones. Yeah, and those, we'll those. definitely but try the, to... The, but the, my point being, like I said, there's some characters where we kind of get a hint at them and then never really hear from them again. Uh, Dollmaker is one of those. Oh, yeah. We I'm, see Dollmaker, but he's never going to be a major player. We really want him back, though. Come on, Dollmaker's I mean... huge, though, in the Batman class. Like, not big like the Riddler or the Joker, but big enough that Dollmaker is constantly a problem. I just feel like in this Gotham verse, well, it's like Flash Ellen set up. Man. Yeah. Oh God, it's, it's kind of set up like the Flash, in which there's like these kind of smaller villains, and then there's like the overarching storytelling villains. Right. And, and so I just meant put it like that. It's like I'd like to see a Sol- I don't even know if I'd like to see a Solomon Grundy. What will they do with him? Right. What That's how I feel about like, it. I'm so like, for uh... example, to put it in perspective, it's like all right, when they brought in Grodd for Flash, they had a point they had something they for had him something do. for him to come they in had for. influence the story what is the influence the story and point when you bring in butch back as solomon grundy to bring butch back like to, to be to honest that's solomon really what they grundy. that's really what they want to do hey y'all yeah. just here to hear y'all hey thank hey, you shan thank noreen you. i like the name or shan noreen shan noreen that's the cool name yeah yeah, like Thanks it. for coming out. Oh, yeah, if you want to just listen, that's cool too. We'll also do be doing comments and stuff. If you wanted to ask anything, or yeah, let us any know that kind of stuff. We're, We're all talking Gotham it. tonight, um, especially just talking about the season and the episode that premieres tonight. Um, and some of the biggest themes that I'm seeing in this this season. I mean, obviously the most obvious one is the development and start of Batman. Right. Bruce so I think has become a this has got to be now. a Bruce season. Yeah, it has. And to if be. it's not, I think everyone's going to be disappointed. Hi, I'm Corey Evans. What's up, Corey? Good to see you. Long Thanks time no see. In. Thanks for stopping by. Feel free to comment about Gotham or ask any questions you have. Please. But yeah, um, if it's not a Bruce season, man, I think I'm gonna just. I'm probably not gonna watch it until after it's done. Yeah, I, I'm, it does a lot. Maybe someday I'll bore you with the meaning of my name. Whenever you want it. Feel free to tell us now. I liked Inhumans. Wouldn't say it was that bad. Agree. That's my thing. It wasn't... It it wasn't wasn't garbage at all. Yeah. I'd give it a solid, like... Okay, maybe I'll have to take a minute to think of my rating. It's about six and a half, seven for me, man. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But people are, like, rating it, like, fours and fives. I'm Even like, gosh, less, it's some not people are garbage. like, this is trash. And it, there's, like, already talk of them canceling the second season. I'm like, uh, can we see the first season first? Can we Can we ever do that? Oh, damn. SG, I really? call him Batmoy, not Batman. I'm never wanting to say Jerome was Joker. Um, I think there's just, like, nods at him being the Joker, but there's just no confirmation that that's who that is. Like, honestly, they... It's almost like a tease, if you ask me. The thing is, I think they might not also have the rights for it or something. Ooh, good point. There's a lot of that doesn't comes, have any A of that. lot of that shit comes into play. When You'd be surprised how many characters and ideas are just like, we don't got the rights for that. Probably so Warner Bros. is like, nope, guess what? Just kidding. Off to work. Night, guys. Axel, I'll see you in Destiny 2 tomorrow, Scrub. I'll see you for the hey, rage. Hey, Mikey. Month. I call him Bat Boy, not Batman. Bat Boy. <laughs> I mean, hey, Bat that's Boy, what he is. Boy. I, I heard that before I even watched it. Oh, really? Huh. Still love my boy. Yeah, yeah, you gotta love Batman. By the way, sidetracking, but still kind of Gotham is related. No. Uh, just this was released this week was the, some of the new Bat, uh, Death, I Bat, heard. not Dark Knights. <laughs> yeah, I heard there's some new Batman <laughs> the, the Red, coming out. The Red Death came out today, which is, oh my God, dude. Checked it out? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I can't, I, you're going to read it, so I can't ruin it for you, yeah. but. It is intense. But it, basically the premise, which is not ruining it, that's like the premise has been kind of the idea, yeah, I've is that there's too. the dark multiverse and that all these Batmans are like from this multiverse, of, yep. which is basically a multiverse of destroyed multiverses and ideas that were always meant to be destroyed. And they're dark. <laughs> night, they're, they're nightmares of a person. And it's like, oh, these are all Batman's nightmares. And... It's pretty much just nice to see. I mean, it's kind of cool to get into Bruce's head and see exactly what's going on. You know, well, what there's I mean? been some spoilers. So, like, this one's a spoiler, but it's not a spoiler from reading. This is a spoiler from news. Like, they were talking oh. about okay, so some, some of the stuff. 
Yeah, and so they were talking about the different Batmans that come through the game, kind of explaining the scenarios behind them because mm-hmm. it doesn't necessarily wore off. And so their big explanation, two big explanations were the Red Death, which is the Flash Batman, mm-hmm. and the Batman who laughs. <laughs>, ha, yeah, but the Red Death Batman's uh, like set for his basic idea was what this is what would happen if there was a crisis facing Batman and he wasn't fast enough. To save to it, so it. he had, so he went to get the speed force, and it's a really crazy one. Ooh. The other one, we got a couple comments. Yeah, got going to get them CGC inside. Then our children can sell. Them. Fantastic idea. Annoyed me how the court was built up to be a huge dark thing, and then was just kind of not and gone. Fair enough. It was to introduce Rob. But still, that was an, it was and, and, and so it wasn't, bad. And, and then they all good. got murdered. And in then like Razak Gold was terrible too. Yeah, it was like, really good. What the fuck? I am Razak Gold. I'm like. And then he didn't. He, I can't remember if he died or just like got beat up or something. Honestly, the Raza Goal and Arrow wasn't that good, but he was better than this guy. Yeah, like be he, true. That Raza Goal was like I did. Like I said, the Court of Owls him. was such a thing, and such a thing now even. Like Court of Owls ties into the Dark Knights currently. Yeah, and it was like built up to be. They were built up to be so powerful, like they generally are, with a lot of influence. But then they were just. Gone. I, you know what I just love, and I I stopped to think about this from time to time and it's just so funny it's like how many clandestine super powerful secret organizations are there running the world at the same time right. in some of these stories it's like, from the there's like there's like 30 and, people who control right. the world from uh, it's like and they're rich and and, and like powerful and Felicia Joey, Joey what's up man hey, good to see you time to see Joey B. right it's been a while dude what's up I think we have a hey. right above that too I'm not sure if we did. no it was, uh, the, still the, the, the owls and so so, like I said, seeing them depowered to the point that I think they were all getting taken out by, like, one person or something. They like, were all getting taken out by each other, really. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was the crazy knife fight. Mm-hmm. But th- that's my point. The, that afternoon. What's up? And the virus thing was dumb, too. Oh, God, like, I yeah. was like, eh, we already know where this is going. It's such a predictable storyline. Right. It wasn't surprising. wasn't thrilling. Legacy comes out next week. Yes, it does. About time. There's there was a lot of cool lead-ins to it from this week because Secret Empire has been over now for a couple weeks. Good. <laughs> Honestly, it's, it's, good. It's, is there a good ending? It no, yeah, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good ending. I like it. Me and Izzy talked about it uh, the last episode that there was a lot of stuff like we kind of expected. Got another comment there. Absolutely, Absolutely love Alfred. Poor guy has been stabbed and knocked down more times. I mean, he you gets should not see it. You should see in the comic book, dude. <laughs> Alfred gets messed up, murked. So, oh much. man, that, that just reminds me of a scene from Death in the Family, or not Death in the Family, Death of the Family, uh, for which is the New Fifty Two line, where mm-hmm. it's it's basically Alfred is like kidnapped or then kidnapped by the Joker, and the Joker makes oh, a call Lord. to Batman, <laughs> and Alfred's talking, and he's just like. Don't do anything he says, sir. He has me blindfolded, so I can't tell you where you are or where can't tell you where I am. And the Joker just starts laughing, and he's like, "What's so?" And he's like, "Why are you laughing?" He's like, "You think you're blindfolded? You're not blindfolded. I threw bleach in your yeah, eyes. I messed him up. Oh yeah, he messed him up. And then <laughs> he threw, throws bleach in his eyes again. Oh man, I'll never forget the time." <laughs> The one time in Injustice where fucking Alfred takes some suit oh, skills and beats the shit out of just, him. He just dodged. Oh my god. Which, if, any, if anyone goes into Alfred's oh. past, Alfred is actually a secret badass. Yeah, he was in so many boxing and martial arts Secret classes. Empire was the best of... I don't know about that. Ooh. I would definitely Ooh. not go that far. Really? In fact, I would definitely say I don't I don't agree would with that. Would you say it's one of the worst? No. Or one of the it's probably decent. medium-ish. I liked it better. Thank you. I liked it better than Civil Thank War you. 2. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah, because mu- Civil War hey, 2 Hey, how much is Spider-Man Death in the Fam is worth? Um, I don't know how don't much know. it's worth off the top. Yeah, CG- it depends know. on your CGC rating, too. So and yeah, what is your rating like? Yeah, eight, you, if, I mean, if you got a ten, anything's worth a pretty oh, decent gosh. amount of money. You know Good what I mean? Yeah, man, no one if ever, you've kept it in that condition, no one ever wow. has a ten, bro. Right. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a ten. I've seen them, but they're usually not worth anything because they're so new. Like, uh, even now, even Izzy, Izzy got some like a 10, Power Rangers a rare, hollows, rare 10. brand new, and basically Ooh. kept them. He still didn't catch a ten for those, dude. He's got like it's a nine point six. What is your rating on your Power Rangers catch. again, Izzy? It's it's hard it's to high. catch. He's, he's got a high rating. That's but good. You just it's hard to get a ten. Always. 
I don't know. I really like Secret Empire. The ending was, but, but but the ending was basically everything I expected, with like one or two things. It was much better written. Funny fact, I think I might have told you this: the entirety of the Marvel generations happens in like one panel of Legacy. What? Yes, it wow. takes place in between two panels, basically of Legacy. Huh? I'll have to check out Legacy when it comes. Nine point eight today. and below is what the Raiders used to smoke on. Nine point eight. What? I don't know. And how much is by? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. The death in the family. Is Nine point eight is impressive, is he? Yeah, getting that high is damn near impossible unless you basically kept it straight from buying. Yeah, just second kept it second hand condition. buys. Don't even think about nope. it. Cause someone's put a sticker on there and pulled it off, and that automatically. Or somebody's it turned a page buy. hard or whatever. <laughs> even the cover. They opened the book. It's yeah. devalued. <laughs> period. <laughs> period. That drops it down. It does. It is. That's why I don't mess around, mess around and bend with the, the cover ratings. and uh, yeah, the spine dude. gets a little bent. You're done. Oh, done. You, you'll lose. <laughs> you gotta a whole buy point it and then just spine. You guys know that a whole point for a bent spine. Are you serious? I'm serious. And not even wow. a big bend. Any bend. Just a little, a little, little easily crook. crook. Boom. They said nine. <laughs> it's like bam. Like you gotta just buy it. Have them put it in the cover and then never read. It's like if it never came out of the plastic, it's dead. Yeah. You gotta keep it in the plastic wrap, or else it just boom down. Yeah, I, I think Gotham and Batman in general has been going pretty well. The I, comics I just, are going well. Yeah, the comics are going fantastic. But Have I you think heard that Gotham needs to just kind of wrap it up. Like, oh, I, I mean, this should be the last, last season. Yeah, I think we're at the last season. It, it may be one more if this season is good enough and leaves a good enough story. It just better be about Bruce, man. That's the thing. Like, it's the, gotta the, the be. whole next season has to be developed. Safe to say we'll never see Bruce in the actual suit, right? This is a just before they were kind of thing. I would safe be safe to say that you were going to see him in some kind of suit. Yeah, he's already they're playing in too much, like. They're already going so far off the mythos, it's okay, which is fine. It's their own development, you know what I mean? But in the mythos, Batman traveled abroad to travel. To yeah, train. and, it, and this is... To, let's, I mean, he trained a little here, but he traveled abroad a lot in Asia and Europe. And let's keep this in mind, this is an original universe. Right. So this is who knows confirmed. what's going to happen? Which is fine. I mean, it's fine either way. What I, <laughs> The thing is, uh, I always hear is like, when are they going to add Gotham to the DC? Uh, <laughs> Sorry, LOL. I don't mean to be mean, but we're here about DC and we have Marvel theme on. Oh, yeah. I mean, we, we talk about all kinds of things in the geek verse, yeah. so we just wear pretty much whatever we feel. <laughs> Yeah, this is what I had clean today. Right. <laughs> I was like, I only have I my walked out, this onesie. This is what I had clean. Dude, what's up, Kevin? Good to see you, man. We're just talking a little bit of Gotham. Um, just talking about how we hope that the next season is going to be focused yeah, on Bruce. If not, probably won't really tune in. Um, I think you were getting into, like... People talking about well, when is Gotham going to cross over with the Arrowverse? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, or? I think I don't think it's ever going to happen. Nah, but that's what people are asking. No. <laughs> the thing it's, is, they're too different too in tone. Scramble. Yeah, they are. It's too dark. It'd be at, like adding Legion to like I don't know the, the Marvel the, Netflix verse. Or I something. mean, even that's like closer than than, than doing these two because the Marvel Netflix verse is dark as all hell. Like there's very few as dark as the DC. Uh, TV shows can sometimes be they're nowhere near as dark I mean Ash, though, go watch one the, even then go watch w the one scene of the Punisher in Daredevil 2 it. and it outs Boom. every single <laughs> like there is no scene in any comic well, book show well they have freedom though you know they're not on broadcast television that's, that's true CW's but, it's, but like, that's no. the point and that's why every I would say every single one of the Netflix shows has at least one scene that is darker than Corey, any I of, mean the, the shutting of the door in Deadpool season 1 and the guy's head I've been watching Preacher. Nice. Oh, Preacher's awesome. I, the show, I haven't watched too much. The comic's awesome. I've heard the show is pretty decent, though. Hey, Tyler. What's up? Thanks for coming Good in. Good to see you, Tyler. Good to see both of our, two of our patrons. Yeah. Coming in. Thanks Pre for coming out. How, how would you say Preacher is, uh, Kevin? Because I haven't really watched too much. Would have been great if the actor grew like, to like 6'3 and was built like a tank, LL, big Batman. <laughs> yeah, probably not going to happen. You should. You guys should check Sacred Creatures from Image. I'll have to check that one out. Thanks I don't for the think recommendation. I've, I've been reading have Six you been keeping, Gorilla lately. Have you, <laughs> have you been keeping up on, uh, what is it, Seven to Eternity, is he? Or is it, uh, what is the other one? Uh, Black Hammer, too. You guys should check out Six Gun Gorilla if you haven't already. That's a pretty awesome one shot. <laughs> That's pretty nice. It's oh, I, I read comic. the uh, Wonder Woman Conan 
crossover today? Ooh, how was that? It's pretty interesting. It was not as forced as you would think it'd be. Like I it sounds like, like it, it would be, but hmm. it like I said, usually you think so. Hey, thanks for What's coming, up, in, Christian. Christian? Uh, you would think it would be, but they kind of set it to a kind of natural pace of hmm. like Conan, and then kind of threw Diana in the mix. I guess I don't know. It's, hey, welcome yeah, well, back. welcome back, man. We appreciate We're always it. welcome. Always said you're always welcome, welcome here. Yep. It's like even when you don't pay your rent. <laughs> Can, the show is great. Can't get enough. I heard season two leaves you hanging on a pretty big cliffhanger, and it's then season, season three is up in the air. I would say, uh, oh, oh, we're talking preacher. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm definitely gonna have to dig a little bit deeper into that. I, I do suggest a reading episodes. the comics first, though. Really? Is there a lot of ties? No, not even just. Just so you have kind of a better, a better idea of uh, what. The, well, yeah. honestly, I recommend everyone read Preacher if you like darker comics, but. Hmm. Because it's a super... I mean, anything written by Steve Dillon is insanely twisted, guys. Like, not in the typical, oh, like, this, but, like, he just about, has, though. like, a twisted mind, like... <laughs> Dillon That's writes the type of things I like to get into, though. I mean, just oh, yeah, it's good. fucked up shit. Oh, yeah, this one's definitely that way. Like, every every con- every book of that one is messed up. And, and if you go through, like, it contains probably, like, two or three of the most messed up comic book scenes on a couple different That's what I'm ranking about. lists. Like... Bring it on, oh, baby. There, some of them aren't even like messed up though. They're, love love them and leave you, boys. Stay cool. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming out, Felicia. Thanks Appreciate for the so continuous much. support. Yes, from everybody. Yeah, from all of you. God Gotham definitely, definitely makes me want to watch Batman though, just for the villains and also play the game. The Arkham Asylum's great. I think okay, I, wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah. I was like, hold on. <laughs> Arkham Asylum is fantastic. Well, most of the Batman games are pretty good, the Arkham with the games exception are just of the great. Batman VR. That sucks. Oh, you tried it out? Or is it Arkham Knight VR? It's good, but it's just messed up, man. Mm. Outcast TV series is pretty dope. Outcast. I'll have to check that out. I've, I've never not checked, checked out Outcast. I just didn't read last issue. Seven to Eternity or Black Hammer? Is he? Yeah, that was like a while ago. When yeah, we're <laughs> yeah, we got a delay. Telltale is good too, really good. Yeah, I did like Telltale though. That was a good one. I did Telltale like I said. I think it was. Stuff. I think it was Arkham VR that was all messed up because it's like the Game of Thrones Telltale is good too. By the way, um, yeah, I like all the Arkham games. I never got to try out the VR, but I never heard any rant or rave about it. So I was like, well, like I said, point? this one specifically made. There's like that's it's Arkham VR for VR or whatever. It what what's so wrong about it? It's, it's just the story this... more than anything. It's even more messed up than the other Arkham's. Ah, this one's this is just like, oh man, they killed all the Robins in the first fucking twenty minutes. Great. <laughs> Both random, but have you seen the trailer for Venom? No, I didn't know there was a trailer. What? Not not heard of that. All right, Please we're gonna link. have to do a, a trailer reaction here. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't think <laughs> like, they have it, it up there. I, I, I hadn't heard much. about a Venom trailer, but maybe there's a teaser. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm doubting there's a trailer. Maybe a teaser. Oh, wait though. Wow. That, it doesn't looks go down. Trolley weird. smasher. Oh, Trolley fan made. Yeah. Fan made. Nope. Fan made. <laughs> Definitely. Let's see. Yeah, I never finished the second one after Asylum. Yeah, I love the first free Game of Thrones Telltale. Yeah, fantastic. I've heard the Walking Dead one's pretty good too. Mm-hmm. Yep, I got to so play wait, a little it, bit of no, that. That one's fan made. So. That one's yeah, you made using fan made. <laughs> Venom trailer Marvel. Let's see. All First video. concept. July 12, 2017. That's the fan made. How can you get... I would dislike Please fan link. trailers. Dislike fan Please trailers. Link. No, hold on. Let me oh, it's fan me. made. Yeah. Movie. Movie yes, sirs. Yeah. Link Christian, yeah, please link. Yeah, uh, if you've I, got a, I, if you got one like, that's not fan made, I, 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 I will say this. No What's matter that what, concept trailer? Though? Well, probably it's fan made. made yeah. I almost guarantee you. Con- I, it looks concept. like it's from the same place. Yep, it is. <laughs> it's from the exact same channel. Can I unlike this? Yep. Look, it almost has as half as many, more than half as many dislikes as likes. That's Whoa, bad. Oh yeah. I mean, that seriously, means it's a terrible I'm seriously, trailer. Seriously though, if you're doing a fan made trailer or see a fan made trailer for a future everywhere, one? if there was anything released. Yeah, yeah I'd, give I'd it a very... few minutes. Okay, we'll, we'll be here. Till then, uh, we're going to move on from that. Uh, speaking of Marvel and stuff like that, just because I see kind of stuff around in the thing, the Infinity War leaks have been amazing. The oh, video's great. all shit. 
But, but the you, leaks have been so nice. Oh, but <laughs> despite that, oh man, you haven't been in for Venomverse either, which is the next one of their next events. Ooh, uh, dude, did you happen to see the um, replicas for Marvel vs. Capcom? Yes, Infinite, the replicas of the Infinity Stones. Who is paying for these freaking Easter eggs, man? I would ship that back. I would make a phone call right there, man. If somebody sent me them Easter I eggs, they're about one hundred twenty dollars worth of Easter eggs. Yeah. And and I what do you get with the? Do you get the ex expansions with that? You get some expansions, but mostly get a, that collectible stuff, and then Terrible. a couple free uh, character skins that you can get anyway. Like I got the deluxe edition, which God, oh my God, I spent hundred dollars oh, again. Man. I cannot keep buying one hundred dollar games every yeah, week because like, I did Destiny uh, two, and now I got Marvel. You can get uh, better Capcom. Infinity Stones on Etsy. For real. Yeah, you really can. <laughs> you can make better Infinity Stones I than that. Let's go out to the right? fucking thing. I'll make you one. Let's just go to a jeweler and we'll just paint the diamonds. Like, <laughs> the cheap one. We'll go get some fake diamonds. Yep, paint and just purple, paint them green. purple, green, whatever. And they'll look like Chaos Emeralds, but whatever. They'll look better than the eggs. Yeah, <laughs> just better than those Easter eggs, for sure. I couldn't believe that either. I was like, maybe it's this one? No, these are all May. No, 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 no. Those I've... are all fan-made. Yeah. Oh, we'll, if we'll there was a see. trailer, it would be everywhere. Yeah, any everywhere. leak. That's the problem with the internet nowadays, guys, is no one's privy to anything secret. As soon as it goes up on the internet, boom. I mean, let's, the Infinity Wars trailer got leaked. Like, and now so it's quickly. everywhere. Like I said, if I go look up Infinity War trailer, even though it's not great, I can find it. You guys talk Punisher trailer? Yes. And we talked about how we love the music. How we. Oh you my want to God, do a I love the gunslinging. Let's, just, yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Here. Because. Like I said, I had to stop what I was doing and show two different Oh, yeah. Videos. I had to was, stop. I was like, I was... it's coming. And then I was pissed at the end again. I had to I stop what like, I was right. doing, and I circled up with some co-workers and watched it. Like, yeah, I had to. There's no way you can't. Like, like it's just so powerful. Shotgun to the head. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, they need a date though. Seriously, I'm so pissed me, off. I'm so pissed. I love right? the whole trailer. I told and I told people right before this that I was gonna love it. I was, dude. I was totally thinking. I'm like, okay, we're gonna get a date. We're finally we're gonna, gonna get find, a fucking that's date. What I, thought. I thought a new trailer. There's only like four months left in the whole year. Three even, not even four. What do you think? They'll drop it in November, October? I mean, at this maybe point, we do don't it. Maybe know. it's our Christmas present. Maybe, maybe it's so. December. And I'll be okay with that. Thanks, I, Marvel. I, I guess. I just don't know if that's the time to be dropping a point. I can't wait. I can't. If I find it, I definitely share. I can't wait. Yeah. Her Venom is having trouble taking off. I'm yeah, sure. I, I'm sure it does. Uh, good night, guys. I enjoyed watching you listening. Hey, hey thank, thank you, Cody. You. We check in next week. We try to do this every week at the same time. 
Uh, thanks for coming in so much. Yeah, Have a thank one. you so much. I'm feeling a November release. I really hope it's November. Same. I think November would be best. There's no big Halloween or Christmas stuff around it. There's no... It's like, uh, well, it's Thanksgiving, you know, that's not gonna... So, not MB, that's not gonna stop the Punisher. So like, there's only one worse. thing about the trailer that bugs me. Is that the scene with his wife? Yeah, what's that all about, dude? Because even in the show, they've established that it was at the park. Remember, yeah, that's they have right. established that this is at the park. So unless yeah. they go changing things, it's really gonna fuck and shit that up. That flash, that's an inaccurate. Well, that's just going maybe to it's what just they said. a maybe it's just a uh, maybe it's a dream. Maybe that something like, like that. Or maybe it's like a figure or yeah, like something. Yeah. Or maybe it's not even. Maybe it's even from before that family. We don't even know where they're going with this punishment. It's like maybe maybe that was a flashback, and he just saw that moment happen. At that time, maybe, maybe yeah, that was because there was that teaser when he was in the woods and stuff. So I'm like, eh, who knows? We'll see happen. what's going on. There's still a lot of room for them to change, but despite that, the the music's an excellent choice, both thematically and for the character. I think oh, yes. perfect choices. Oh, like, oh, yeah, we have a ton. We, Has to be October. Can't Stranger Things too. Uh, that doesn't mean they won't drop it. Nah, I think it, I don't think they will. Not not versus Stranger Things too. Good point. I think that will be the best. Stranger Things is October. See you guys. See Thanks you, for coming. Shan. Thank you. Because we do get Thor in November. Yes, but that's cinematic wise, and that, I that feel like stop from they've TV. been dropping Luke Cage and Daredevil and everything else roughly close to other movies. Like I think Luke Cage dropped maybe a couple weeks before Spider Man or a week or two out. I, not not Luke Cage. Uh, what dropped right around Spider Man Iron Fist? Are you are we talking Homecoming? No. Or maybe it was Wonder Woman. There's or another big movie, but they don't they don't have trouble releasing their stuff concurrently. Concurrently, because I'd like to see. Let's see. All Legion right, so got, came out, and then right after that, it was Iron Fist, wasn't it? I think yeah, so. Yeah, it was and like Iron Fist was Marvel like boom, right there. Show releases. But yeah, they're definitely not afraid of the competition. That's not really. That's upcoming. Oh, well, Guardians Two. Yeah, Guardians Two. That was, was it. Very close to Spider Man Homecoming. Stuff like that. All right. So may the Holy Force be with you. Hey, may the Force be with you hey. too. Hey, may the Fourth be with you. It's not May, but still. <laughs> Wait, these. That's okay. It's okay. always May the Fourth. So in the last two years, we got these here. So Phase Three, May sixth, November fourth, May fifth, July seventh. And then list of Marvel Cinematic Universe television shows. Mind blowers. <laughs> so let's do from 2000. Damn, 2015 is a good place to start. Um, that's that'd not be good, nice if it just gave us the date that it. April 10th, 2015, mm. which is. Oh, sorry. These are 2016. Let's go. Ant Man was really close to that. It wasn't in like June, July. July. Couple months out. Eh. That's not too bad, but still, what about Age of Ultron? In June. May 6th. That's what? A month less? Uh, to be honest, they release them close anyway. I mean, they do. That would be good to keep Marvel on the map. Like, if you got two releases in November before Star Wars, that's good because that builds you up. All right, here's a little no bit more. Day still. I'm, I'm so, so sad. sad. This is 2016, September 30th, 2016, which is not too far from November 4th. No. If they get to a November, I just wouldn't be surprised. Like, Marvel wants to stay on the map. They want to stay relevant. And they, 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 they will. They've with this proven that they can stuff. consistently put stuff out. Mm -hmm. Bordy's Mind Blowers. <laughs> that was pretty good. Have you been caught up on Rick and Morty? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I love pickle Rick memes. <laughs> oh God, I'm pickle like so Rick. obsessed. When, when you when you don't want to go to therapy, but <laughs> 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 I love they did like the levels and then keep keep people, people happy, happy with Marvel, Marvel content. content. Perfect to drop movie and a TV series. Heck yeah! Especially the TV series before movie hyped the people even more. Agreed. And the thing is, like, and I keep saying this in the age where we're having less and less work and more and more free time people are starving for media like, starving like and we're getting to day. that moment in the year where things are kind of starting to wind down you know around thanksgiving christmas time that's when things people kind of have some time to really catch there's up on time TV off and, there's snow nope, there's depending on where you're at but in general this is the time of the year where everything kind of winds down and people consume even more media 
So I don't think it's going to be a problem there. But like I said, we've just been having more and more con- so much consumership that there's not enough. Like personally, they could re- they they didn't even lose more Marvel stuff for me. Like I I'd be down. I binge through that shit and then I'm binge through it two more times and then I'm uh, speak for yourself. I hardly have free time anymore. Huh? I, I, I make oh, time. I'm sorry, Kevin. I have to for this. Definitely, Kevin. yeah, we got to for the cast. Keep people. I mean, but, let's let's but, think about it. We just got off of the to... we just got off the ship of the defenders. That yeah. just that's still fresh. Pretty like fresh. it's a month out. It is, but how many times have you watched already? Once. <laughs> I've watched like two or three already through. All the way through. All probably the way once. Through. I started. I started like ep- at episode like three. I think. But and watched to it again. be fair, I do do a lot of my watching in secondary mode, where it's to the side. I hear you. And then I'm writing or doing something. Well, else. If, we're, if we're talking secondary, yeah, I'll have like a window open at work with it. Just kind of in the ear. I like I said, it's nice background chatter mm-hmm. for me to keep up, exactly. especially like even when I'm reading comics, I do that a lot. But I understand, Kevin, because trust me, with the amount of content we need to consume for this, I like I can't even speak on Marvel vs. Capcom because I didn't get far enough through the story to really speak on Same. it. Like, yeah, I had I gotta fun. Play. I got to play yeah, for a little while. I got a couple. I got like an hour <laughs> or two in, and then I had to go to sleep because I had work the next oh, day. Oh so. man, don't you hate that moment where you're just like trying to get through, and it's like, oh man. Well, I, also, I also stopped, and I don't know if this is common, but I can't stream it on Xbox One. Really? Yeah, they were blocking me and putting on the home screen. What? Yeah, I don't know if it was a personal issue or a general issue, but I saw some PC streamers using it, so I don't know. Huh, maybe it's something with Microsoft right now. Maybe. I'm, and thinking, I'm wondering if it's not like a place, but I, that was the thing. I was like, oh, maybe it's a PlayStation exclusive, but I saw PC gamers doing it. Yeah. So I don't understand. Hmm. But, you know, we'll keep that up for that. Uh, as far as that, what other I'm big things at are going work. on? I'm at work hiding CBR on this. <laughs> <laughs> I hear hey, you, man. Hey, hey. Resources, you. no time for Marvel. We Destiny for Life, actually. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dude, Destiny sir, 2 right it's now? popping, bro. Popping. Everybody's playing Destiny 2 right now. Uh, I literally got Mikey, got, on I got Mikey to buy an Xbox and Destiny 2. <laughs> it's so good. Like, I'm so it's, much, I'm so glad they I really enjoy it. It's game. really well, my problem is I'm hitting the same problem I hit in most games like this RPG wise when you hit the top tier level you're, you're it's just like boring well like it just takes so much time and then you have to have friends yeah like if i i can't do, do anything right now stuff. unless i unless i have a fire team or a full raid team i can't do anything because all i have left to do is the rage and strikes see and then that's where it gets kind of like eh, mundane it's like now the cool eh. part is i have a couple you have a couple characters so i'm all I about count. mario x rabbits right now oh my god oh, wow that's, that's is pretty, that pretty good actually because I, I have that. a switch man so I might have to check that out. Oh, and Mario Odyssey really is good. coming up too, along there's, with uh, there's a lot coming out. Fire Emblem's coming mm-hmm. out. Like, there's a lot coming there's out. There's a lot it, it, for everyone, man. Like I said, even with these releases Holiday like this, season. I know I got two or three more coming. Wow! Tomorrow the SNES drops. The SNES Classic drops tomorrow again. Probably not gonna get one. But nope, don't got no money for it. Well, I have money, but I'm not gonna get in line in time. Even- exactly. That's the thing. It's the time. Like fuck. I love it. It's so much fun. Yeah, you'll have to man, link yeah, us some we'll bids or to, some, like... Yeah, some, especially if you do some gameplay, man. Like, definitely link us in. More content that we can post. We can post... Yeah, if for you anybody who has stuff, we, we really yeah. are always starving to put content on Comic Convos. Like, I try to do the daily memes and stuff, which, if you haven't seen, we have a ton coming out. I'm sure, wow. t- I'm sure today's was fun. Let's see, what was today's? Uh, the, um... Yeah, that was uh, a different one. Manipulated verse. When, uh, oh yeah, it was the Professor, uh, X. Professor X. Yep. Yeah, that Professor one's messed one. up. On. Oh my god, I'm like he can manipulate genes and stuff. Let's see, we received an just make an emulator for NES. Yeah, I mean, heck, I'll be a contributor. Haha. Huh? Hey man, yeah, definitely do so, please. Like, if you would like to do gameplay videos, like, please be in touch. All right. Oh, we have a tra- mm-hmm. wait. We're gonna see. Movie trailers, entertainment posted. Two days ago, the dark side sketch. is coming with a vengeance. Show oh, more. Sketch, man. Comes Venom. As already looking sketch, they've got Deadpool two official teaser trailers and stuff. That's all. all, all well, I that te- that teaser's from the theater, probably that one from Logan or whatever. That's not even a teaser. Yeah, I'm gonna go with not official here. Poncho HD. Like yeah, this is a, that's not funny. unfortunately that's not an official trailer, Christian. That you linked this, I can pretty much already tell it's not on the Marvel site. Uh, it's not. Check out some of the comments. 
yeah, it's edited by fans. They have their linking their thing. Yep. This this is not a Marvel thing. Um, they said it's not going to be a horror movie in the thing. Not sure if you've seen the first one, but New Kingsman movie. Yep, awesome. I actually yeah, saw it on Monday. Saw Pretty it. great. Venom looks like he came from an Injustice cutscene. Yeah, unfortunately, that's all fan made there, Christian. That's not. I mean, official. hey, that's a nice that, fan made. But... It is, but even like right here at the end, that's a picture of Venom from a comic book. That's let's, not even. Let's see. I didn't check. I didn't see it. It's not even an animation. This. No, wait for it. Oh, that. Yeah. That's just a picture. That's of like a zoomed in. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Christian. That is not an official. It will trailer, be everywhere. So. My Google News would have exploded. Exactly. Yeah. I have is. Google notifications too, and it would have been like <laughs> venom, 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 and I would have been like, oh man, yeah. Th- yeah it probably would have been a topic tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Dev. Trust me. If there was a Venom trailer out, we would have definitely talked about it by now because we really do want to see that. I doubt it, but better than the first. Uh, yeah, I would say it's actually about the same as the first, to be honest with you. Check it I, out. I think I'm going to have trouble with it, because part of the reason I liked the first so much was I came in expecting nothing. Like, I had no Right, and that's when I came in with this one, though. I'm like, eh, uh, see, and I expect sequel. I expect it to be better. If it's not better, I'm not going to be happy. Dude, I was like, I, I'm just I done with sequels know. already this year. They, like, they, they've, they've, God, they've been messing up, but like I said, ones. I, uh... Always on Comic Vine, Kevin. Oh, they, have, they haven't even started filming for Venom. It's for sure fake. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 we kind of already knew, but we give everyone a chance. What the heck? <laughs> I don't know. I bet it's in Spanish, too, so it's kind of hard for me. Not the top part, but the other part. I'm like... Okay. I don't know. They're Something crying. Like Marvel versus Capcom. I mean, they're like... I laughing like that they're that crying and laughing, but that's a pretty good peak for 24. Especially just for what, I believe that's the Steam Tracker. Nice. So It's not bad at all. Considering it's not even a PC uh, primary game. Well, guys, we're getting to our wrap-up point of 9 o'clock. Um, if anybody had any more questions, feel free to shoot them out now or to... Um, visit the Comic Convos page and message us. Kevin, you did say that you were interested in being a contributor. Please feel free to reach yeah, out. Whenever, whenever I mean, whenever if you want to do some gameplay videos, if you want to, you know, make some content, like, hey, man, reach let out. Know. Let us know. We're here uh, for you. As far as the Comic Vine thing, I go from time to time, but I find the level of uh, fanboyism there is a little too high for me. Really bad. Like, there's it's, a lot it's of It's almost as biased. bad as the forums reading on Facebook. Like, I mean, there's a lot of bias there. Oh, what about the oh, Orville? Yeah. <laughs> Whenever I see Orville, I think about popcorn. Yeah, me. Too. That's why I'm like, <laughs> like Orville popcorn. red and pop. But popcorn. yeah, as popcorn. far as comic van, we don't because like it's the same reason I stopped engaging people on Facebook. They either a don't know anything or b when you tell them a fact that's like a fact, they're just like ah, it doesn't matter. Right? They try to brush it aside with some bullshit theory that they have. Excited for anything next year? Uh, eh. I'm definitely excited for Black Panther. Yeah, um, Black Panther looking great. I will say. Towards the end of this year, Star Wars is looking like it's going to be fantastic. It's gone downhill, but Tom, Tony Guerrero has a new podcast out worth checking out. We'll have to check it out sometime. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, everybody, thanks for coming out tonight. Thank you to our Patreon subscribers, Tyler Lockridge, Cy Kennedy, um, Susie Marie. We have Mikey now and Kevin. Thank you guys so much for contributing. Yeah, we can't thank you enough, honestly. Cannot it's, thank it you enough. so much. And we'll be round, starting to get this rounded up and start getting prizes out. Especially as we unfold into the, you know, end of the year, guys. We're coming up on the end of the year soon. Mm-hmm. Um, the new Seth MacFarlane. MacFarlane. Oh, that looks I haven't checked it dumb. Out. It looks like a spoof of Star Trek. And it's like, mm, cool. I'd much rather just watch Destiny. Todd MacFarlane. Hmm. Great. Good, good job. job, gentlemen. You have a good night. Thank hey, you, you so too, much, Isla. Thanks, Thanks for, for checking coming us out. out. We appreciate it so it's much. good to see you again. Hey, everybody, take care, and we'll see you next week. Hopefully, if not next week, we'll definitely be back the week after. Definitely. So we'll see you later. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect, and we can always improve. So please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.